We've finished with the heel flap and turning the heel and we're ready to go back into knitting in the round with the main color of yarn. So we're going to switch colors again. We've had plenty of practice doing that today. I'm going to put my needle in. I've already broken the cream color yarn. Grab the red yarn, leaving about a six inch tail, wrap the needle and pull it through. Like I said, we've done that a lot today. And this time I want you to knit seven. Place a marker and knit the last seven. Now that marker there is the new beginning of our round. We're going to be placing other markers, but this one here is the new beginning of the round. So if you have a marker that's unique from the other ones, you might want to put this, that one here so that you can tell it from the other two markers that we're about to place. Now along the side of the heel flap here, we need to pick up stitches to get going in the round again. And because the heel flap is knit in stockinette, it wants to curl. So I want you to uncurl it and look at the very edge stitch and we're going to pick up as many stitches along here as the pattern tells us to. Um, you do that by putting your needle in to both legs of the V. Knit stitches, of course, look like V, and we're going to put the needle in through both legs or under both legs of the V, like that, wrap it, and pull it through. It's like knitting with just one needle. Okay, now I'm going to go from the heel gusset stitches to, if this was a real sock, these would be called the inset step stitches. I suppose they are still in step stitches. Take another marker and put it on there and just knit across the next stitches. Whoops. You hear the stitch marker hitting the table there. Okay, here we are back at the other side of the heel flap. I'm going to place a marker just like I did on the other side and pick up the number of stitches along the side of the heel flap that our pattern tells us to by putting my needle into both legs of the V, wrapping the needle and pulling it through. Okay, those are all picked up. Now I go back to knitting the stitches from the needle again, and I'll knit to this first marker I placed at the back of the heel, which as we just learned is the beginning of the round. Now we're going to start decreasing for the gusset. Let me show you that. That is this line right here. We have the gusset, these are all of the stitches, and we decrease down there to get back to the original, original number of cast on stitches. And for these stockings, I'm going to knit up to three stitches from the first marker. Oops. There we go. Three stitches from the first marker, knit two together, and knit one. Slip the marker and knit across the instep stitches as normal. Oof. 
Everything's getting stuck. There we go. We're not going to do any decreases on the instep stitches. That's why I want to get across these to show you the other side and how we decrease here. So you slip your last marker, knit a stitch, and then SSK, which is a slip, slip, knit decrease. And I have a video for that if you need it explained further and more slowly. And the reason we're doing knit two together on one side and SSK on the other side is because those two, those two decreases are mirror images of each other and we want the two sides of the sock to be symmetrical, of course. So you do a decrease round and then a plain knitting round and you alternate those two rounds for as many times as the pattern tells you and then you knit the foot, which is just plain knitting, awesome TV knitting, just get through the rest of the foot for as many inches as it tells you to and then I'll see you back at the next video where we're going to learn to do the shaping for the toe.